everyone's having a good night. Um, for some reason, my audio settings completely reset in OBS. Not sure why that happened. Um, but yeah, we're back with more Rural Coaster Tycoon. We're going to continue uh, with Leafy Lake, what we started with last night. Um, so let me pull up uh, Twitch chat real quick. All right. And I guess without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and get on into it. Finished Forest Frontiers and Dynamite Dunes so far. All right, so our issue was that we spent a crap load of money <laughs> to get a roller coaster up and running, um, and we have an information kiosk coming out later this month, which will be great, and then we can change our uh, research funding to uh, something other than shops and stalls. Do more ride kind of stuff. So yeah, at this point it's going to be getting more um, a lot of people leaving. They didn't, they didn't spend like any money. Okay. See how it is. Alright, I would like to build a monorail, but it's gonna be expensive to do that. They don't really seem to like it if I charge a dollar for this, so I, I think we'll leave it at 70. And uh, that will be easy pathway right there. <coughs> Sorry for the cough. See through scenery. Can't put anything there because there's a tree. Can't put anything there because there's a tree, so I had to come down this way. But you know what? I tell you what. Oops. Oops. Okay. I'm accidentally deleting the trees. Okay. I just deleted all the trees. Oh no. I need the cash. Oh, I guess we're getting more loans. There we go. Alright, let's start this puppy up. Alright, we should be good as long as we still have two mechanics, which we do. Uh, I'm going to hire another one of these dudes. I really don't feel like I need to put anything around here. I don't think people really get sick on the Ferris wheel. I'm not too concerned about that. Alright, now we need something else exciting, but it's really just going to be roller coasters. Like, thrilling rides as they are, thrill ri yeah, thrill rides as they are called. Turns out, not um, very thrilling. So, all that really leaves us is the wooden roller coaster at the moment, which is expensive. So, so, so very expensive. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have to pretty much cut down like all of these trees to make the prefab. Uh, we could build a roller coaster. Uh, but I, I'm not going to lie, I'm really terrible at that. Um, 
but it might be what we have to do in order to get around all these trees. Okay, we got our information kiosk. Just perfect. Needed that. We want to. Where do we want to put that at? Let's. Let's put it right here. And add more pathways to it so that way people are more likely to buy from it. Yeah, those umbrella prices are ridiculous. I love it. Um, oh yeah, let's not mow the grass. We don't, we don't got time for that. Alright, and then let's get rid of that. And I mainly have a need for, like, roller coasters. That's, that's the main money-making stuff we got going on here, so... When I start seeing issues with queue lines um, completely uh, filled up, then I'll look more into getting more gentle rides, but as of now, is that really a big deal? Really kind of people are just not doing much of anything. I charge you to get in here for five bucks. Right. Okay, very cheap. Then uh, we're gonna bump it up to ten. Or you know what? Heck, let's just go ahead and bump it up to thirty. And let's see what happens. Hey, Adam Jim's welcome in. How are you doing? All right, let's see what happens here. Do they pay it? They do pay it. All right. Well, in that case, we're going to take out some additional loans, and we're going to go ahead and run this campaign. So let's go ahead and get that money started. Get that money rolling in. Then I can go ahead and start working on the roller coaster here. Alright, uh, start right here. Yeah, I'm doing okay today. Uh, I had a bit of a scare earlier. I got the black screen of death this morning when I tried to turn my computer on. Um, I was able to boot Windows from my hard drive, um, but I don't know why um, it wasn't booting normally. I had to go into my BIOS setup and change the boot order to um, boot directly from my hard drive. I'm not sure really what happened or what made it that way. But I couldn't find my Windows installation disk, so that kind of prompted me to start cleaning up my office some more. So it wasn't a complete waste of my day, at least. Alright, let's go ahead and have it go up here. Then we'll get it to go down very gently, I think. Yeah, I'm, I mean it's it's operating. It's like I, I mean I'm streaming right now, so it's 
it seems like it's working. I just, I have no idea why it won't boot the normal way. <laughs> Oh, that's not high enough. Okay. Oh, that's also not high enough. You had a crazy nightmare. Did you get another face tattoo? Help the multiverse. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should probably make this tunnel underground. That could be interesting in order to get over this pathway since the pathway goes up higher. Um. Or alternatively, I could just make it take a sharp left turn. Oh, about multiverses, not multiverse. Multiverses is that, like, Super Smash Brothers kind of game. Uh, I guess I don't want it to curve like that. Let's make it go straight. And then we can bank to the tight turn. Then have it go. Oh, I'm broke. <laughs> oh, I guess we're taking out more loam then. But oh, I could take out more than fifteen thousand now. going up the hill one world guys dress in white vacuum spirit from body that's uh intense Something to break down. 
Oh no, I got a reward. Yay! Oh yeah, no, that's gonna be a problem there. You hate your crazy dreams. I do not dream very often, so unfortunately I don't have to worry about that. But my, my mother is the same way. She has all kinds of absolutely crazy dreams. Come on, roller coaster, make me more money. There you go. All right, I'm getting close to there. I just need to loop it back over here and have it go down. And then turn around here. These people need to stop puking. Where, where's my handyman at? Look, there's, there's puke everywhere. There he is down there. Alright, um, so that's at like an 8 and is barely high enough. Let's look at um, height marks and pass. Looks like six, so it's got to be at least two over. So at eleven, I'm good. So as long as we just keep going over, to take out more money. Ride construction is expensive. Jeez, got another thousand out. Let's have... Oh yeah, there are brakes. May not need the brakes, though. Oh, that's good, but there's trees way here. Oh no, that's not good. I need to back it up one more. got an entrance, we got an exit. Let's test this thing. 
Alright, uh, when we talk about events, I'm always curious how to do awards. Uh, like, in, in what way? Like, expand on that a little bit more. Oh, that's good. I was hoping that the chain wouldn't slow down the car that uh, already had some speed going in. I don't think I need to add extra brakes. We'll see when I get the test results. Ooh, very high intensity rating. It's not extreme though, so I think it's fine. I think we can charge for this. Which is good, because I need this for the next 10 years to pay it... Well, excuse me, to pay it off. See if that Q line will come up. You always dream about golden raspberry for games. That's uh, isn't that like uh, satire awards or something? All right, these enough people are writing that now. Uh, advertising campaign finished. Well, that's no way, though. Gotta get that back up. Campaign for the park. Six weeks. Let's go. What's my other notification? Oh no! The <laughs> tidiest park in the country as everyone's vomiting uncontrollably. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know the full legality on that, um, because, I mean, especially in Poland, like, I can only really speak about laws in the United States, and even then, I'm not a lawyer, so I really can't, <laughs> can't give legal advice on that either. Um, but I mean, there, at least in the United States, like, there's, um, protections for freedom of speech, and there's... Uh, fair use for purposes of satire, um, but if a company could prove damages in court um, as the result of being a winner of one of these awards, then um, then they could sue for damages. Um, so it's it's kind of a risky thing. Um, but I mean, r the short answer is just you're going to have to ask a legal professional in your country because um, I don't really know how that's how that would work in Poland. That's not a bad little roller coaster.
I mean, I don't like all of this, like, just level track. That's not too terribly exciting, but... Crap, it was getting expensive. I think they like it. Q line's filling up, so that's good. I'm gonna have to make more um, anti-puke stuff throughout here. They're, they're gonna be puking all over this stuff. Hopefully that'll be safe. Alright, let's play back some of these loans, because the loan interest is starting to stock up. But how does all media talk about Golden Raspberries? I mean, I, again, I... Like, it's... It's kind of, again, protected under free speech and satire. Uh... But in terms of media talking about it, like, media is allowed to report, like, you can't really... It's, like, you, if you're reporting about something that's true, then you can't really be sued for journalism. Um, like, it, it is an objective fact that, you know, such and such company got a Golden Raspberry Award. You can't really be charged for are sued for damages for reporting a fact. Now, if a media company, you know, like, if the media talks about someone getting a Golden Raspberry Award, then a company could use those journalistic articles as evidence that there's, you know, damage being done. But, but that goes back to the people that um, do the awards, not the people that talk about... Um, companies getting the Golden Raspberry Award. But that's another thing, though, is that really it's going to end up being whatever the judges rule. Um, yeah, fair use does not always uh, hold up in court. It's kind of one of those things that they get away with it because they're successful at doing it. Um, if if there was ever litigation against them, because it's already so popular, and I'm sure that it's been profitable for them to do it, um, they probably already have lawyers, um, or at least a lawyer, um, on retainer to handle that kind of stuff. But ultimately, any kind of satire like that, you're running a risk, um, and you have to factor that risk into your business plan. No, my roller coaster! I, I just... Oh no, it's not this one, it's that one. Okay. Yeah, they only do video, not the gallus the media can ignore. I don't know anything about how it's set up. It's not ever anything that I've really watched before. Whoa! Those people just straight freaking died! Whoa! Yeah, everybody leaving. They're like, nope. Good grief. 16 people died. And that was one of the pre-built ones. I didn't even build that. Well, dang. Well, uh, can I open it back up? <laughs> or is it just. 
station brakes failure. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Let's change that inspection to every ten minutes. And let's also hire another mechanic. been fixed. Well, where's... Oh, he's coming in now. I guess all of my mechanics were all the way down on this side of the park, so they just couldn't get to it fast enough. Jeez. I didn't think that one of the uh, rides that were was you know, pre-built, could do that. I thought that was only if you sucked at making a ride. But hey, people are lining to get back up on it, so I, I guess 16 people dying doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm not getting that um, safest park in the country award, though. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, it's not safe. I mean, I... I could just destroy it and build another one right in its place. I guess I'll just... I could just do that. We'll just do that. That was... Where did I build that at before? Because it definitely was not like that. I have to have it built somewhere over here. There we go. Alright. Okay. I guess it was over one more, but that's alright. Let's uh, let's paint it another color so that way it doesn't get confused for <laughs> the last one. There you go. It's a brand new roller coaster. Totally not at all like that last one. So we're gonna hire another one of these guys. Oof. <laughs> that was that was rough. Alright. Uh, still two weeks remaining. We did make money last month, so that's good. You already if you made worst game of word. Uh, I have no idea what medic is. I mean, if you're going to go that route, like, you can't just, 
I don't think it can be something that you just do. Oh, media will ignore. Uh, yeah, I don't really think it's something that you can just do. Um, it's got to be something that, um, or I. It either has to be something big right off the bat, which means you're going to need to, uh, you know, like work on getting sponsorships, make it like a really big event, lots of advertising, and that sort of thing. Um, or you just do it because you want to and have fun with it. Let it gain some popularity with some, um, you know, like real honest grassroots kind of um, attention like not media attention but you know people on YouTube or whatever like you know comments and engaging with it and uh, you know work on getting it blasted out to social media sites um, like making shorts about it putting it on TikTok posting it to places like Reddit um and then once you have a bit of a following, then you have hard data that you can then go to a sponsor and be like, look, you know, this is something that's really caught on. Like you could profit by sponsoring this and you have the data to back it up. Um, and then you can start working on making it like a big commercial thing. Uh, but I mean, you can make it a big commercial uh, venture from the get go, but you're probably going to need a lot of money up front um or otherwise you're going to be too high of a risk for anyone to really front um, any of the costs or um be willing to to for a major company to be willing to sponsor of course now it's raining so now no one's going to get on this Everybody's looking at Ferris wheel though, so that's cool. Uh, we can make a covered ride. Let's do the carousel. Put it right there. Have the entrance there. We'll do the exit straight down here. We will charge 70 cents for that. Boom. Oh no, now the rain's letting up. I think I have enough mechanics for now. <laughs> I got the award for safest park in the country after 16 people died in my park this year. <laughs> What items should be as a reward? Uh, well, it's got to be something that people don't want, or something that like means something. You know, like raspberry is like blowing raspberry, like. Pfft. Um, and I think there's already like a poo reward. Um, so you probably couldn't do that. Um, I don't know. Maybe if you do it towards like Christmas time, you could have the. Uh, the platinum fruit cake or something, because <laughs> nobody wants fruit cakes. You know, I love fruit cake, but that's it's fairly well known that people don't like fruit cakes. Um, There's so much litter in my park. I need to put more trash cans. In. Like, throw your trash away, people. What's wrong with you?
Nobody wants to go on the merry-go-round. We want to go on something more thrilling. All right, well here you go, buddy. Here's uh, here's something thrilling for you. Sixteen people died on this. Yeah, there you go. Get in line, dummy. All right, is there like land that I can buy? Oh, not much. Just a little bit around the edge. A little bit extra there. Yeah, that's not worth much of anything. Alright, well, we got a lot of space right here, so. Suspended roller coaster. Or, no, steel roller coaster. We got a shuttle loop. Interesting. Um. That's interesting. Hmm, that could be cool. It's the most intense. Even though it's a roller coaster, that's basically a gentle ride. Um, the shuttle loop. Well, let's do. Exterminator. I need twelve thousand dollars to put it there. And actually, let's turn it around that way. Can I get twelve thousand dollars? I can. Thank you, bank. We'll put it back a little bit. We'll put it, yeah, right there. It just unlocked. Oh, the suspended roll. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The entrance there. Exit there. We definitely charge three bucks for this. Ten minutes. Green as is tradition. The dark or no, that's like the Elon piece. This is the same color. There it is. Uh what items and games are useless? Um I don't know, I mean, there's definitely items in specific games that are pretty useless. Um, but that doesn't really apply to, like, every single game. Uh, like, in Pokemon Go, max uh, potions are, like, 100% useless. There's only, like, I think, one case where you would use a max potion over a hyper potion, and that's killing a, like, maxed out Blissey that has, like, 1 HP left. Uh, like any, literally any other Pokemon, just using a Hyper Potion will fully heal it. Because even with the um, the level cap increase, level 50, like 99.9% .9 of all other Pokemon just don't have enough HP for the Max Potion to even do anything different. Uh, it's, it's pretty much just pointless. Uh, people say that the, the Nab Berries are pointless in Pokemon Go, but... Uh, I use those, like, I don't use them for their intended purpose. Uh, I rarely use them, I actually own Pokemon. Um, but I use them to feed Pokemon in gyms uh, because it's it's free Stardust, which Stardust is the most important commodity in the game. Or not commodity, resource. You don't trade Stardust. You have to have Stardust to trade. You don't actually trade it. Should be good. We'll break down. 
Ferris wheel and a roller coaster. Uh oh, wait, which? Okay, it's this roller coaster. I was about to say, I hope it's not this one again. If I change this to 10 minutes, I did not. Let me do a little trash. There's still a lot of trash and stuff. Get you get to clean it. Is there so much vomit over this way? There's no reason for there to be that much vomit. Entrance fee is too high. Nah. up for that now. Uh, ad campaigns, got two weeks left. We'll just uh, pay back the loan a little bit there. Let that run its course. I mean, people are still paying the 30 bucks to get in. I'm not lowering that. I'm just going to keep running the ad campaigns. Um, and I just got a brand new roller coaster. We got three roller coasters here. Y'all can pay 30 bucks. You know. Let's hit. Uh, there's 20 trees. I will build something right here. I don't know what yet. Maybe like an observation tower or something. Uh, we'll have to see when we get there. But uh, let's see where I could definitely build this here though. Nine hundred thirty-four. Yeah, let's let's do it. how Jeff Cayley began Game Awards. Uh, well, I mean, I'm sure there's something out there about uh, starting it. I need, uh, I need my research to come up with um, a specific type of pathway that sends a small electrical shock anytime someone throws up on it. That would be ideal. Right, take that back. 
and do another six weeks. He's not Academy? I don't... Let's see, I need to... Oh, charge money. Uh, first off. Uh, two minutes. Uh, but I, I mean... I don't know who that is, but if they're notable, I'm sure there's Wikipedia information, um, and I mean, you could definitely do plenty of, uh, oh, like Oscars, oh, I got you, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, I'm sure there's information out there, you just gotta look for it. Or you could, uh... Find, uh, con find contact information about them and just ask. Uh, my wife was interested at about starting a science museum um, at one point when uh, she was in a business degree. And, uh... She just straight asked a, um... Uh a big, like, huge science museum and center uh, in the United States here uh, about information on starting one, and they actually sent her like a huge packet of information on uh, where to begin with finding funding and all kinds of stuff like that. Get another handy person. I just heard someone else puke, so. Yep. Oh, good. They just got it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, how many rides we got now? Five, six, seven, eight, so. Yeah, it's should be fine until I build the next roller coaster. Now we have a suspended roller coaster, so that's cool. Flight of the Phoenix, there we go. Oof. It's got a hefty little price tag on it, though. Oh, well. There you Oh, dang it. Three dollar ride. So I don't want to take up too much space in the lake with the queue line, so I think I'm just going to snake it like this um, up against the station. Oh, 
Hopefully we'll need it. Getting. And another puke sweeper. You're nobody to do this event? I mean, everybody's a nobody at some point. Like I said, uh, like maybe it's just best if you start small and do the awards just because you feel like it. Uh, have fun with it and uh, let it kind of grow on its own. And uh, like start um, start online, uh, but then maybe try and get kind of like a local. Uh, presence with doing it um, and then it can kind of become like a Polish thing um, after a while and um, then if it gets popular enough it can definitely be worldwide but uh, or you don't have to do you know work with local people at all you could just try to build up entirely an online presence but um, I think duck. Um, I think just having huge ambitions uh, to do something sets you sets you up for so much failure when you don't have a lot of capital to do that immediately. Um, like the the best thing that I can suggest is to just um, Find something that's really achievable that you would be happy with, um, and then let yourself find room to grow from there. Having really high ambitions, like I said, if you're not able to accept any of the steps that it takes to get from point A to point B, it's just going to really kind of set yourself up for failure, uh, which is something that I've had to battle with a lot, because I used to be extremely ambitious, <laughs> and I've definitely learned not to be that way anymore. Just be very happy with the wins as you get them. I really do not like how this sticks out in the end. I feel like that's going to be how another 16 people die. Um, I'm wondering if I should change the car sizes or something. Dude, because I'm fine with there being two trains, but I don't know about seven cars, because it looks like at least three of them are sticking out. So... Yeah. That's only 11 cars fit in, so really we need to only have 10, so I think two trains, five cars each. Oh, I've got to close it first. Here we go. Alright, that's that's better. That looks less likely for people to die on. Also means more people waiting in a queue line. But definitely don't need more people dying, because that was expensive to make. It's 10,000 bucks. Oh, speaking of which, it's, uh, I don't know what we're doing. Ferris wheel again. Ferris wheel is constantly breaking down. Alright, how are we doing? 500 guests in park, died. Park rating of at least 600. Done. Alright, cool. So, uh, we're, we're done. We just gotta wait it out. But we have the, what, October year 3 again? Yeah, we're only in April year 2, so... That's a whole lot of time to just kind of sit and wait around. Alright, well, um, there is no more space to build roller coasters. So, uh, unfortunately we're locked into that. But, uh, 
Um, just gonna stick that there. can't realistically build another roller coaster anywhere. I mean, I probably build something right here if I level all those trees and maybe buy some of the land that's around the edge, but... Seriously, the Ferris wheel broke down again? They basically came and fixed it and then it immediately broke down. It's only a 5% downtime, but jeez. This roller coaster seems really unsafe. <laughs> but yeah, I could. I could build something here. I just, I really do wonder, like, is, is it worth it? I don't know why I made that queue line so long. <laughs> it works, I guess. Did I see today's news? I, I can't say I've actually seen any news today, so I guess no. <laughs> what, what's the, the news today? Yeah, Reddit was my, like, main news source. Now that I, I can't view Reddit with my third-party app, I just... I, I guess I just don't read news now. <laughs> okay, Kex is back! Oh god! I don't know what the world is ready for that. God, that wasn't bad. Only going negative 4,000 when we had almost a 10,000 ride construction cost that month. Clock tower. I don't know what clock tower is. Not familiar with that one. Alright, none of my Q lines are like super oppressive. Things are actually pretty okay. <laughs> Nobody wants to go on this boat thing. I love how this person right here is like so sick that they're holding their mouth but they're <laughs> they're getting in line to do this roller coaster anyway <laughs> oh Tumba, I do know Tumba I had a lot of fun playing uh, Tumba 2 
And uh, I played Tuba 2 before I played the first Tuba, so it was really confusing for me, but I still really enjoyed it. Um, so that's cool. Glad to see Tuba back. Handy dandy person. You know what? You can mow grass. I'll let one of you mow grass. You're the groundskeeper. Oh, hard. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't do horror games, so that's that's why I haven't heard of Clock Tower. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I can see where they're at on the map. Except, I can't actually see where they're at on the map. That map needs to be, like, 15 times bigger. I actually have a zoom feature. Alright, yeah, I, I know that broke down. I can hear the music sounding terrible. You know what? I know I told you to mow grass, but... You, you gotta take care of this. Go, go do that. Alright, are all my things profitable still? Yes. It's Car Ride 1 is like the least profitable thing. Maybe I could charge more for it, but I feel like people wouldn't like it then. Um, uh, I, mean, I don't care. It makes profit. really build a monorail, so I guess I can't really build much of anything at this point. Uh, so, let's just go to maximum funding. Most crazy news. Announced for Game Boy Advance! What? What? <laughs> Well, good thing I still have a Game Boy Advance, I guess. <laughs> That's wild. I mean, I'm not, I haven't looked at the article yet because I'm, I'm stuck in Roller Coaster Tycoon. But, uh, where is my mechanic? Mechanic, where are you at? Heading for the merry-go-round. Oh, you're there. You're just taking forever. I guess this is a big part. Maybe I should hire more of those. So, I mean, yeah, we're still making several thousand plus. Well, it looks like more people are going on the boat, so that's cool. My park entrance fee is very cheap. I thought they were complaining that it was too much. Well, okay. Don't mind if I do. We're going to 40 bucks. Let's, let's pay back all these loans. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and save progress.
Yeah, they're paying it. All right, forty bucks. I guess uh, having multiple roller coasters work. You don't have a Game Boy? I guess I technically have two because I have my Game Boy Advance. Well, actually, no, I've got three. Because I have my Game Boy Advance, I have the Game Boy Player for the GameCube, and then I've got a Nintendo DS that can play Game Boy Advance games. So I've got three devices that can play them. I think a lot of people getting with the carousel. Not that many people getting with here. Or this. Very interesting. There is nobody getting on this. What the heck? What, what's people's problems with this? They're not paying. They're. Okay, fine then. Cheap bastards. Got a bootleg game boy. Is that like one of those uh, game boys that like have a bunch of games like preloaded on them and stuff? <laughs> left. Uh, yeah, those are, I mean, those are pretty good. They're, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're decent gifts, especially for kids. Company value is still negative. <laughs> Spiral slide. Could put slide in here, but I'm, I really would rather have the observation tower. Could put the slide. Exit there. Well, I mean, if it's, um, if it's on the Game Boy Advance, it, it may not take too long for someone to, uh, sell the seven C's, but the... I would be really surprised if it wasn't made for like digital download or something for the Switch or, you know, 3DS. That really is crazy though, like, they're producing something for that. Alright, we gotta get rid of this like, color though. Get 
mechanic. We will not move grass. There's vomit right there that needs cleaned up. Oh, there's vomit right there. Come on. Here, clean this up. Nasty. So nasty. Okay, people are riding this again now. Any news can't be more crazy this year? Uh... I'm sure there will be something else crazier, because now that there's something crazy being done, uh, game companies and stuff are going to have to try to one-up each other, so we're going to see something like uh, Microsoft's going to make, uh, or not Microsoft, uh, well I guess that would have been Nintendo, I was going to say uh, a uh, Virtual Boy game come out or something, <laughs> it's, that's also Nintendo again. Um, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe Nokia will make a new video game console, that's, that would be pretty crazy. The Nokia re-engage. Number go up! Vroom vroom! I'm about to... Take money back out for this advertising campaign, though. Yep. Oh, all these notifications. Tidiest part, Broncos, super. Okay. And I guess while I'm thinking about it, uh. I guess it doesn't really matter which roller coaster, but I need 1200. So I will get it in just a minute here. Uh, I guess let's do popularity and car ride is not very popular, but also kind of don't care. Roller Coaster 4 that I think I want to advertise, so we'll do that. Roller Coaster 4. I'm just imagining seeing the commercials for this. Come on down to Leafy Lake and ride on Roller Coaster 4. Kid say, Mommy, Daddy, I want to ride on Roller Coaster 4. So, nobody will buy shit? Hey, oh, I'm sure someone will. That's kind of a collector's item. I don't think it'll, there'll be as many copies sold um, as, like, if, you know, it was out on a current console. But people will definitely buy that as a collector's item. I'm also wondering how the game will be sold. Um, like, will you be able to just pick this up at any kind of store that sells video games? Or will it be a little bit more exclusive? Alright, so we'll mark down. Surprise, Quasi's not on yet. Check Discord. Not thinking announcements, so I guess he's just running late. Well, 
We've been playing like 15 over, so. It, well, it says he's streaming, but I didn't see him actually on Twitch. Limited run as publisher. Uh, gotcha. Let me see. Oh yeah, he is live. Oh, he literally just started like three minutes ago. Okay. Alrighty, then let me save this. But yeah, we've we really pulled this around. I thought we were going to have a sucky start with how much money I spent clearing all this. Um, and then especially when 16 people just straight freaking died on it. That, uh, that sucked. Um, but we turned it around. I made a roller coaster that didn't suck too bad. Um, well, at least people want to ride it. And, uh... We got a lot of people in the park. We were able to charge more entrance fee um, than we were at Dynamite Dunes, so that's cool. Uh, we are well on our way um, into victory for this, um, and we're just a year or two. Like, we still have over a year left on this map. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow we'll continue with Thiefy Lake. Um, we probably will finish Leafy Lake tomorrow, I think. Um, maybe. We'll, we'll have to see. If we finish, it probably is going to be right at the end of stream. Yeah, I won't have time to start the next level, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, think, I think we can do it. Alright, but yeah, let me go ahead and... Oh. Ah, I gotta... Do my loophole to get out of here again. There we go. Like, it's it's windowed, but I can't click out of it. It's so weird. But yeah, let me go ahead and uh, hit the raid button here. Search for Quasi, because it's not coming up for me. There we go. Start raid. All right, but yeah, thank you everyone for coming in. Thank you, Adam Jibs, for coming and chatting. And um, yeah, like I said, we'll be back uh, tomorrow with more Roller Coaster Tycoon. And um, we're about to be done with Roller Coaster Tycoon because uh, I've only been doing it. I'm only going to do it for a week um, for this run. So there's tomorrow and then Friday, um, and then Saturday we're going to start with Planet Side Two. But, uh, but yeah, tomorrow we'll be back with more with Mr. Taker. But uh, thank you again, everyone, and uh, let's go say hi to Quasi.